Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another uh, thrilling match here in the Overwatch Xbox community. This is a Week 7 matchup between... Uh, I don't have their team names written down, but <laughs> it's Team Kinetics versus Team Revenant. Team Revenant in the blue, Kinetics in the red. We are getting started on our first map, Horizon Lunar Colony. Let me just get the check from uh, Team Revenant here before we start the map. You're going to have to forgive me for my uh, camera management, because uh, I do not... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have keybinds for the spectators until just now, so... Alright, everybody's ready. We are starting. Let me make... Get this in the... Traveling to Horizon in game chat here. At... What are we looking at? Dirt Revenant. At... All right, so here we go, team stacking up. Again, forgive me for any spasmatic camera work you may or may not experience. Picking heroes here. A lot of switching and swapping going on on either side as the teams look to be trying to settle into something that seems workable and familiar to them. <clears throat> uh, team... Kinetics seems to have picked their majority first. Minty will be picking up the Zenyatta. Dizzy White Law will be picking up Diva Jamboes on Winston. Daniel Danielo Ford, a 97 on Tracer. Sesibu, uh, I don't even want to mess that up. We'll be playing Hanzo and DJ DSPS Stanky. Uh, well, DT, TSP, Stanky, we'll be paying Lucio, which probably should be a surprise to anyone who knows who DPS Stanky is. And on, uh, Team Revenant, uh, Fatty Derp will be picking up Zenyatta, Artemis will be playing, uh, Brigitte, Vegan Tracer will be playing Zarya, Rich Buffalo will be playing Reinhardt, June Moon will be on Hanzo, and oh my God, Burr will be playing Mercy in a very, uh, support-heavy composition. Not entirely bad for this particular uh, this particular point, though. Snipers do get some favor here. Again, I do apologize for the rapid swapping. Let's see if my... Uh, nope. I was going to hope that my camera keybinds were actually going to be useful, but I'm thinking that they're not. Anyway, we'll focus on a player. Here comes an uh, attack by Kinetics. They seem to be biding their time in this left room. Looking for the good dive in order to get their comp going, and there it is. Winston has gone in and is immediately gone right back out as Daniel Ford finds nothing but death in the back line. He is followed shortly into the afterlife by Gems OS, and it looks as though the dive is more than effectively killed right there. As Team Revenant just holds the line and prevents anything too bad from coming. Minty is sussed out somewhere, having made a swap to Mercy at the bitter end, and she too meets her fate. Swap back over to the red team here. Gem, oh, uh, Kinetics seems to be kind of biding their time with this Winston bubble, looking for a good dive angle. We take ourselves back to the point. We see that Fatty Derp is picked off by a lucky sh well not lucky shot, a skilled shot from Daniel Ford and the dive comes in heavy on top of that. No need to hesitate. Burr does get the res off on Derp, but whether or not that's going to allow him to maintain his team's grip on this particular point sort of remains to be seen. Kills trading back and forth. Uh, DSP Stanky is taken out, but Dizzy White Law does manage to pick up Vegan Tracer. And the fight is starting to go against Revenant as June Moon and Artemis both fall. Uh, it looks like just Reinhardt trying to hold down the point here, and unfortunately he is not able to sustain himself. And that will mark the end of Revenant's defense of point A here on Horizon. Team Revenant immediately moving into defensive positions. No real significant swaps coming in uh, for their team. They seem quite happy with their comp. Um, running still a pretty tight anti-dive. So Diva initiates that time to her uh, dismay. She's forced to use ultimate there to just keep her mech up. Uh, 
Buffalo drops the hammer, manages to pull Winston right out, but he himself is slightly isolated there, giving the dive comp a little bit of favor. De Vegan Tracer pushes up to assist and finds herself sort of cut off um, as these kind of piecemeal pushes out from the center are doing very little to... Uh, push back on this dive comp. Uh, traditionally, when you're running the anti-dive, ooh, June Moon way overextended meets his maker there. Usually when you're trying to run an anti-dive composition is the kind we're seeing. Uh, you want to play it tight uh, so that all your supports uh, can kind of get together and help um, when necessary. But Again, we see this kind of disparate spread out. Uh, Mercy pocketing Hanzo in the back, looking to dive in. Pops Valkyrie. That is countered by the sound barrier coming out of Team Kinetics. A grab is dropped as Fatty Derp gets a res, and it's a massive grab Hanzo combo there to just shut down uh, the attack coming out by Kinetics. Very good use of those two ultimates. Unfortunately, that's the first time they're going to get that shot. Probably the last. We'll see how quickly their Zenyatta can build up. Uh, or not their Zenyatta. We'll see how quickly the, that uh, Zarya can build up the grab again. Uh, Vegan Tracer playing a good Zarya here, sitting at about 10% now after using the combo. June Moon! <laughs> <laughs> this is already back up as the Hanzo arrows come in from the other side, effective at forcing the enemy team off the high ground, but not doing much more than that. So we see Brigida trying to pressure the Hanzo, kind of backing out from her team, not playing together so much. Kills coming fast and furious as Jun Moon manages to take Dizzy out of mech before falling himself, though the situation stabilizes as Artemis is able to pummel Winston. And again, you see the team pushing forward very aggressively in order to try and fill the gap there. It's being left, left by uh, Team Kinetics as they fall back, and unfortunately Kinetics does, uh, does get a cheeky loss there as Sesabu falls on his... Uh, Hanzo, but that doesn't seem to have deterred them. They're pushing in again on the high ground. They have switched Daniel Ford over to a soldier in order to get a little bit more consistent DPS output. But again, Rich Buffalo dropping the hammer there to kill this force, uh, kill this push on the top high ground dead. Uh, Zarya, Vegan Tracer Zarya, nearly back at her full ultimate, and they're going to have that rather vicious grav combo ready to go just one more time here. And uh, if used effectively, that will be a push stopped dead. In fact, looking at it now, we see that uh, Team Revenant is sitting on a preponderance of ults. They just decide to use... Uh, Brigida's ultimate right there to try and keep uh, some armor up on the team. A good use of it pre-fight. Uh, Kinetics will pop Valkyrie. Uh, whew, ultimate's flying fast and furious. There is the grab dragon combo executed flawlessly again. And that will be more than enough to put back uh, Team Kinetics and force them to reset. Kinetics now with one ultimate on the board. Uh, DPS, DSP, Stanky has his sound barrier up, though Hammer Down is not far away. A switch, Dizzy White Lot dropping off of D.Va onto Zarya, though if there's enough time to build up the Graviton, uh, it's not really clear. They look like they're pushing in from the bottom left. Uh, Sailor Blue is also, or Sassy Blue is also switching off of Hanzo and switching on to McCree, though again, whether he's going to have time to build up his ultimate, um, it does seem a little counterintuitive to swip away from the effective grab all combo. Uh, there is the hammer down coming out of Team uh, Kinetics. It is immediately comboed with Sound Barrier, which should theoretically keep them all up, and it does. Uh, June Moon desperately trying to plug in damage in the back, but is just solid red in that kill feed. Um, and now it looks as though the fight is over. So Revenant putting up a very solid defense. Uh, all right. Uh, Revenant putting up a very solid defense right there. Uh, up until just the bitter end, though, holding people for so long uh, on that point B of Horizon Lunar Colony is certainly nothing to scoff at, as any player will attest. So resetting now on the defense, two points picked up right there by uh, Team Kinetics, and we'll see what they come out with 
Again, a little bit of hesitation in the picks from Kinetics. Not so much hesitation on Team Revenant. Fatty Derp will be picking up Zenyatta. Vegan Tracer will be playing, again, the wonderful Zarya. Rich Buffalo will be playing Reinhardt again. June Moon will be picking up, instead of Hanzo and McCree this time, Burr will remain on the Mercy, and Artemis will drop off the Brigida in order to play Hanzo. Meanwhile, on the other side, Kinetics will be running Minty on Mercy, Dizzy Whitelaw on Orisa, Gems uh, on Roadhog, the classic Orisa Roadhog um, hook em and pull em combo right there. Uh, Daniel Ford, Daniel o Ford will be picking up uh, Junkrat, DJ. DSP Stanky <laughs> will be picking up Zenyatta, not, not Lucio, I'm shocked, and Sissy Buo will be picking up uh, McCree, and again, I apologize for butchering his name. Uh, no, these are not practice teams, this is a uh, Overwatch Xbox community game, it's like a league match. For points, for the marbles, this is the second highest tier, if I remember correctly, of competition in the Overwatch Xbox community. I did not look up their team's uh, team stats beforehand, so I cannot tell you their records. Uh, setting up on the high ground, a, a relatively common defense when you see the Orisa and the Roadhog pulled out here uh, on Horizon Lunar Colony. Uh, not a bad place to start at all, and definitely is going to put some pressure on... Revenant, as they don't really have anything to get up there and contest that high ground. Uh, Reinhardt Shield not going to hold up long to a uh, barrage of missiles. And yes, there is the initial kill already. Reinhardt bounced out of the way. Uh, Fatty Derp falls uh, to some spam from Daniello Ford using Junkrat as best his ability. Moves back to try and protect the res. Unfortunately, they're not really able to get it off. And Team Kinetics will definitely push up. Uh, trying to drive. Oh no, and Artemis finds himself or herself trapped in a rather uncomfortable position there. And is immediately brought down, and uh, Team Revenant is forced to concede that their push, push uh, was not the most effective one in the world. They will reset, and they will try again. Focusing on June Moon's perspective here. Uh, trying to put some shots onto that high ground, but again, uh, nothing's ever going to break through that Arisha shield. Ooh, and June Moon is hooked out of contention. Uh, and immediately taken down. Not good team when you're getting hooked out of the composition. Again, uh, Kinetics just putting a dominant performance on while they're holding that high ground. Uh, there is nothing that Team Revenant really has at this point in time that can get up there in their face and try and contest that, which is allowing Roadhog... Uh, is allowing Roadhog, is allowing Orisa to effectively do whatever they want. June Moon does drop in, manages to get a pick on Daniel Ford, but is immediately shot down by Stacey Bull. Uh, that is immediately res. Uh, Reinhardt trying to get around the backside, but again, that high ground control just too much. Uh, though Reinhardt with Zarya accompanying him is almost managing to crash up onto the point. It did require an entire uh, Mercy all to do so. Fatty Derp unfortunately finds himself on the wrong side of Reinhardt's shield when McCree's ultimate goes out. And that probably is going to mark the end of this attack. Fatty Derp is rezzed by Burr. Vega Tracer does manage to get a kill. June Moon as well, but it's probably not... Oh, I spoke too soon. Uh, Vegan Tracer does take out both Ford and his tire, um, which could perhaps shift things on the point, uh, and certainly does, as it was only Orisa left there to hold, and she falls... Uh, Gems OS pushed somewhere out of the way, and I hear these sweet, sweet, sweetish tones of Torbjorn being selected by the defenders here. Whether or not they're going to have enough time to put up uh, Torbjorn's turret before the enemy pushes in remains unclear. And they are able to get the turret off. They also picking up a Farah is an interesting DPS combo here coming out of Team uh, Team Kinetics. Uh, not exactly one that you would expect, but one that seems to be working as June Moon attempting to dive in on the back line is sectioned off and eventually uh, killed right there. The push coming in from the low ground, Artemis has switched off Hanzo and back onto the Brigida, running a very similar comp to what they ran on the defense. 
trying to put in these uh, fire shots from on high to drive them back, and indeed it will push them out. Arissa and Torbjorn's turret, you can see here in the corner, forming a pretty effective ba uh, little bashing of defense that's going to be really hard to get out while Farah just floats around dealing defense, uh, doing offense. Artemis pops her ultimate here in an attempt to get a pusher going on the far left side, cleverly playing out of the side of the Torbjorn turret as Revenant pushes in behind their Reinhardt shield. Damage does come in the back, but Reinhardt drops his Earth Shatter to little avail. Does manage to get at least two in it, but it's not enough to really put in the damage. And meanwhile, Vegan Tracer, along with the supports, find themselves in a very difficult spot uh, in the backside as Farah does push up. Uh, oh, June Moon with the brutal reflection there, which does give Mercy the space to get in the res. Um, Burr pops Valkyrie here, hoping to propel his team forward to a win. Uh, and that back corner is getting hammered, and we'll see how strong that uh, that defense actually is as a Molten Core comes out, followed by a Transcendence trying to keep the team up. But it's looking very blue in the kill feed as those tanks are putting pressure back into the spawn. Mercy again going for a res on the outside, not really finding it, having to fight a Tracer, falls back to the center of the point and does unfortunately fall, but it is enough uh, with a combined uh, the Valkyrie there, allowing through the heavy push into the back left corner, really sealing the deal uh, for Team Revenant, and it's tied up 2-2. Revenant with a slightly higher capture time coming into that, so uh, that does benefit them as they will not have to attack first. Um, I must admit that it looked like they were going to stall out there on point A for a little while. Uh, that high ground defense was really play, uh, paying off for them. But again, a, a rather good, I, what I did not think was a very effective use of Valkyrie in the end actually turned out to be very effective because it allowed uh, Revenant to push all the way to the point where they could bring the point to the, the fight to the point uh, and therefore eliminate the high ground advantage that uh, Team Kinetics was kind of holding over their head. And then on that last point, Kinetics going for a rather unorthodox defense of the final point though, as anyone probably could tell you, that last point's defense is a uh, friggin' nightmare. Um, and uh, going for an unorthodox defense, and again, it looked like it was going to hold, but a very creative push through the left side, uh, using advantage of full cover, does uh, win out for them here. Um, even a transcendence and a molten core was not enough to kind of overwhelm the output that was coming in to sort of smash mouth aggressive attack uh, that we are seeing from Revenant on that last point. Uh, setting up on the defense, defensive composition looks pretty similar to us by now. Only big difference is June Moon will be playing. Well, I guess he was playing uh, McCree on the defense, wasn't he? On the other side, Minty has switched off to a Moira. Dizzy Whitelaw will be playing Reinhardt. Gems will be playing Zarya. Uh, Daniel O'Ford will be playing D.Va. Uh, oh, it's a four-time composition. Uh, coming out, four tanks and a Lucio, and it almost works. It starts to get onto the point, but then the kills start coming in. Unfortunately, Minty is brought down early. Dizzy Whitelaw putting in the damage, trying to keep himself alive on the point, and it looks like it will succeed. Just a bull rush onto the point. Lucky that they were able to clinch that as Moira did go down so early, but unfortunately, Burr also met his fate pretty early on in the fight, uh, which meant that they were able to kind of sustain themselves a little bit more than the other team could. Um, not seeing the speed boost out of Lucio, like, to, to get them onto the point, though he does have speed up. Uh, unfortunately, the quad tank composition, not as effective on this point due to its more open nature, but a lucky charge coming in there does manage to pin, uh, Reinhardt, who <laughs> attempts to charge again and is sort of smashed out of it. June Moon manages to position themselves for an amazing series of kills there. Um, June Moon just cleaning up on that kill feed right now, manages to stifle the push, and we're probably not going to see another one, as only Roadhog is left alive here, pushed into the back right side where he will inevitably meet his fate and no one is able to get back and touch despite a very valid effort zoom yada coming in uh, at the end oh no that was uh I see that was revenants and yada my apologies <sighs> all right team setting up again. We'll have to see what kind of composition uh, Revenant comes out with on their attack after a relatively convincing push, at least to snag that first point and get a point on the board uh, for Team Kinetics. 
On Team Revenant, we'll be playing Fatty Derp on a Lucio, switching off of the Zenyatta. Artemis will be playing Brigitte. Vegan Tracer will be playing Zarya. Rich Buffalo will be on the Reinhardt. June Moon will be on Reaper, presumably because of the fear of the uh, quad tank defense, I guess. And Burr will be sticking on the Mercy. Meanwhile, in defense, Minty will be playing Mercy. Dizzy Whitelaw will be holding on to the Reinhardt. Uh, Gems will be picking up the Zarya. Daniel or Ford, not quad tanking this time. Picking up Junkrat instead. Uh, DSP Stanky will be playing, uh, you guessed it, Lucio. <laughs> Xyla. How could you not with that name? Uh, and Sissy Boo, I am so sorry because I am butchering that name, will be picking up the, the McCree. So it looks as though Revenant is building for the quad tank uh, defense. They are not going to see it. I wonder if we're going to see June Moon bail out there early and switch it up as the attack comes in. Uh, using Lucio Speed Boost to try and get around the outside. Unfortunately, Fatty Derp is uh, killed by an opportunistic Junkrat mine there. That is why so many people, including myself, hate him sometimes, I must admit. Uh, he gets another mine kill, uh, taking out June Moon. Fatty Derp is res, but again, they are down a man trying to go into this push, and that man does happen to be their only DPS. Um regardless it looks as though they're trying to make a fight out of it as rich buffalo does charge in for a kill which clears the space his team needs to push up vegan tracer picking off mccree in the back line and here comes team revenant crashing onto the point they're healing keeping them in the fight uh good job by buffalo there, just opening up that space with that charge something that reinhardt's often struggled to do however a tire coming out from daniello ford seeks to end the whole thing doesn't quite manage to get it off and a hammer down is dropped just to pin dizzy white law in the back Derp finishing off the kill, and the fight is just rolling back and forth. Unfortunately, it does look as though it's going to go in favor of Revenant. There is a lot of blue in the kill feed, ladies and gentlemen. And the push goes on. There is still plenty of time here uh, for them. Daniello Ford will be switching off of Junkrat on to a Reaper, while Ceci Bo will be switching up to a Widowmaker. Perhaps an interesting choice, though there is a lot of space for him to work with. Uh, he's not going to deal the most damage to tanks. That is okay. That's why you have the Reaper, I guess, in the front line. Both teams looking for that grab combo. Gems is closer, and Dizzy Whitelaw does manage to snag an Earth Shatter, which he almost immediately uses in an attempt to take down Artemis. Uh, he is effective in doing so, but... It's unclear whether it will significantly unveil his team. Oh, he manages to catch Mercy out there on a charge that can only make you say Reinhardt's hitbox is broken as Jam drops an ultimate in. Manages to get Fatty Derp out of that Graviton Surge, but not a lot else as June Moon sort of clears some space by dropping the incident, uh, by dropping the Death Blossom there. Uh, meanwhile, uh, does look as if Revenant's having to reset after that. Their Graviton is coming up. Um, not clear if they're going to have anything to combo with it. June Moon has switched off of the Reaper and onto the McCree. Uh, sort of a dearth of, or a dearth of ultimates on the side of Kinetics and a lack of ultimates on the side of Team Revenant, barring that all-important Graviton Surge. Obviously, there's nothing that can stop that. There's no D.Va to eat it, and if it is used effectively, it will probably end the fight. Uh, Daniel LaFord does manage to pick off June Moon with an ultimate, but unfortunately it's just one pick. A big trade for using the ultimate. Um, Reinhardt kind of playing back, trying to clear some space here on Team uh, Team Kinetics. He manages to pick off Artemis, who is slightly overextended. He does manage to earn Earth Shatter again, but he is pinned into the wall uh, and shut down there by Rich Buffalo, who in turn falls without any sort of support. Uh, that leaves Fatty Derp kind of stuck behind, desperately trying to run away with that Lucio speed boost. Man, I can feel that. I have been there uh, many a time. And it looks as though Kinetics might be able to hold this, though I think we will see one more push out of Team Revenant. B and Tracer sitting on the Graviton, and Rich Buffalo also sitting on his Earth Shatter. Two very powerful alts. Uh, looks like they're going to come crashing down onto the point from the top, looking for that Earth Shatter, looking for that Graviton. Um, there is the Graviton, does manage to get two. Uh, there is a pin in there as well, but it doesn't seem to get very much as the sound barrier comes out almost immediately to counter it. Uh, they drop their own Graviton Surge, looking to hold on to the point um, as much as they can. 
A lot of blue in the kill feed, as there does seem to be a preponderance, though another grab does seem to come out this time for Team Kinetics, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough to hold them into this uh, hold them into this fight, as Rich Buffalo, just swinging away with his hammer, does manage to pick up the point and does, in turn, get the victory for Team Revenant, though you cannot say uh, that Team Kinetics did not put in one hell of a fight to try and hold on to that. Indeed, to the very end, it almost looked as though it was going to go their way. Um, with that sound barrier coming in and that last-minute Graviton, but with no real ultimates to combo, uh, the Graviton didn't really do anything but hold them in one place for a while. June Moon definitely putting in a solid performance there. Deserve a lot of... Wow, 71% because of participation deserves a lot of credit uh, for that victory. I have to say, those are some numbers. Uh, must admit. All right, well, that will do it here for match one, Horizon Lunar Colony. You are watching the Overwatch Xbox community. Uh, week seven, this is Kinetics versus Revenant in the rival tier. Uh, a thrilling matchup there on Horizon. Close by the skin of their teeth victory uh, for Team, team Revenant. Uh, and we will be switching maps now, going to our second map of the week, which uh, I do believe is Nepal, though I will go back and double check myself. Uh, we will be making some substitutions as well. Uh, so please stand by for about 30 seconds to a minute, uh, and we will be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks as though uh, one team is getting a substitute here uh, to put them in. Meanwhile, Fatty Derp has subbed in for Stinky Mix, or has been subbed out for Stinky Mix Stink. Uh, that's quite a name. Uh, we'll just wait a second here to get the sub in for uh, Kinetics. Uh, and I'm just going to hop in the game chat here on the Discord and uh, tag whoever I can. Uh, where is Fatty? While we wait, uh, let's talk a little bit about that last map. Pretty good contention holds from both sides. Uh, it really didn't look like it was going to go Revenant's way, uh, especially when the high ground was being held so well by Team Kinetics. But at the ultimate end of the day, uh, it looks as though the substitute has joined. At the ultimate end of the day, um, a very good use of Valkyries was what able to push through Team Revenant on that first uh, on that first fight, and get them kind of on the point. And once the fight was on the point, uh, there was little choice but for uh, Team Kinetics to come down and fight on the point. Now the quad tank strategy, while good and effective on the first point that we saw Kinetics run, uh, it does not guarantee a victory on the second point, especially which given that it's a lot more spread out and that kind of clustered set of bodies doesn't really give you uh, as much power as you would think in order to kind of like stay on the point. You do have a lot of sustain, right? Of course, now this is the, this is the good value of the quad tanks setup. But again, unless you're fighting constantly as a sort of... Um, whether you're spectating, spectating blue, as long as you're fighting constantly as like a thick ball, it's um it's just not as effective, and that I think is kind of why we saw them run out of gas. Also, of course, the time difference in the initial push is playing a role there as well. Um, just giving Team uh, Revenant just the opportunity to push that in uh, at the at the last second, they got multiple pushes on it uh, on that second point instead of just one. 
Uh, let me just make sure that we are ready here now that the substitutions have gone in. Charm will be subbing in for DSP Stanky for this last point. I, I do. I do indeed need a co-host. There was supposed to be one. Unfortunately, he was not able to attend uh, tonight, so it's just me. He would also be handling camera work as well, but unfortunately, here I am stuck with my uh, sort of spastic camera work, and since I have the ready from both teams, uh, we will be starting here. Going into Nepal, a classic King of the Hill map, uh, probably one of my favorite King of the Hill maps in the entire game, though I think the best one is probably Li Shang Tower. Uh, King of the Hill, I have been told or have heard, is sort of the uh, testing ground for a team's actual skill, uh, in the sense that on maps with payloads and maps with points, defensive strategies and offensive strategies can kind of be employed to sort of make up for gaps in a team's skill. But on King of the Hill, when everything is level playing ground and there's no terrain tricks to really take advantage of on either side, uh, it's just a slugfest, and uh, the team with the higher skill usually comes out on top. Now, whether you want to put a lot of uh, thought into that is kind of up to you. Um, I I have my doubts, but I also uh, I, I don't think it's completely useless as a way of sort of understanding things. Let's take a really quick look at the teams on either side. Uh, Minty will be playing Lucio. Dizzy will on be on Zarya. Gems will be switching off to... Uh, Genji, Daniel Oforb will be playing Reinhardt, Trime Cloud will be on Mercy, and Sesibu will be playing on McCree. Meanwhile, on the other side, uh, Stinky McStink will be playing Lucio, Artemis will be playing Tracer, Vegan Tracer will not be playing Tracer, but will be playing Zarya, Rich Buffalo will be playing Reinhardt, uh, Jude Moon will be playing McCree, and Oh My God Burr will be sticking on uh, Mercy there for the attack. We'll follow Daniela Ford here for a second on the Reinhardt as Team Kinetics comes charging onto the point. Uh, it's going to be the big brawl in the center. Both teams very brawl oriented, close to mirror comps actually now that I look at it. Minty immediately being taken down by June Moon. Uh, some sharp shooting there as uh, Team Revenant does seem already to have kind of secured the point, pushing the tanks of Team Kinetics just back, 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 back. Getting a couple of opportunistic kills before Daniello Ford uh, manages to fall. Uh, Armageddon Burger getting Artemis back into the fight almost immediately as uh, Team Kinetics is forced to peel backwards and reset after that fight. On the other side, here comes the second attack with a speed boost uh, from Team Kinetics. Oh, and it's a cheeky pin there by. Uh, <laughs> by Rich Buffalo. He's been waiting for that one around the corner. As the fight is put in. Stinky McStinky falling early. Doesn't really have the protection of the tanks there necessary to keep that fight up. Meanwhile, Vegan Tracer pushing in. Uh, just pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. Trying to hunt down a Reinhardt there. Gems does manage to get sort of an early or uh, late pick on Artemis though. And kind of in the necessity of driving that Reinhardt back, uh, the team has now surrendered the space on the point. Uh, Earth Shatter comes in. It's it's not a bad one. Reinhardt goes powering into the corner, taking out Zarya. Um, but whether or not it's going to be enough for him to hold off as Gems OSS drops in with three kills there to secure the point, well, it's kind of hard to argue with a performance like that. A uh, very effective Dragon Blade that was not countered in any way, shape, or form as uh, Charm, uh, as Gems is pushing up to try and create some hassle up here for the flankers and kind of... Bear looks like he was trying to force them into taking that central route, but it doesn't look as though they'll do it. Um, Rich Buffalo clearing some space for his team here and allowing Revenant to push up the left side. Um, a Pulse Bomb does drop in, but it doesn't do much more than put some damage out as a Valkyrie follows up. Ooh, and there's a charge in by Rich Buffalo, which is almost immediately shut down by an Earth Shatter from Daniello Ford, who just goes in swinging with a hammer, cleaning up kills, and does get a triple kill. June Moon does pick off Charm Cloud in the back line, but it's not going to be enough for his team to reassert themselves on the point. Um, Minty now switching to Lucio, once again making these almost mirror comps, barring, a, barring one DPS choice. Um, 
interesting in a way that both teams switched off of the Zenyatta there. Zenyatta being so widely played in the Overwatch League and such a valuable support. But Lucio is uh, very useful in certain circumstances and his utility on 2CP uh, is well known. Daniel Ford here forming the front line for his team, uh, swinging that hammer, trying to clear space. And there's another Dragon Blade going out. Um, again, it looks like a lot of blue in the kill feed as a pulse beam comes on. You see Lucio go flying up into the clouds there as he's trying to launch his sound barrier. A combination of a grab and an earth shatter, and it is just, woof, it is just explosions <laughs> on the map. Um, but in the end of all those explosions, uh, it is Team Kinetics that manages to come out on top. We saw two grabs, an Earth Shatter, and a Sound Barrier all deployed in a very short succession there, which made for a lot of flashing colors on the screen. <sighs> Moving on to the second map here of the Nepal set. This is, of course, Sanctum. I believe it's is this sanctum or is this village or is this shrine oh lord i never know it doesn't look like a village to me so i'm gonna go with shrine or sanctum uh tweet your responses now when you want to tell me which map is which of course infamous for its boopage uh into that pit there in the middle the the pit of death um and you can see that the teams are stacking up uh, to play to that advantage with team kinetics running the classic roadhog uh arisa combo here with minty sticking on that uh lucio presumably for the sweet boops. Meanwhile, Rich Buffalo will be switching off of Reinhardt. He's picking up uh, Arissa here, and Vegan Tracer will be playing the D.Va as a backup to that. So it looks as though Team Revenant is immediately pushing for the high ground on the left. Not a bad strategy when you have an, uh, an Arissa on your team, looking for that first opportunistic pick, which again, Dr. June Moon does manage to find, picking off Charm Cloud. An irreplaceable loss. There's no resing the Mercy once she's down. Um, and she, she now has to walk back from spawn. Meanwhile, Burr playing his best to stay behind this Arisha shield and keep his team up on the point. And it does look as if Team has been forced into a corner, though Dizzy Whitelaw does manage to score a kill there on B and Tracer in the tight confines. It matters little, though, as Ermagod Burr is able to pick up the res uh, and keep his team in the fight. Zoom out here for a second so we can see a little piece of the action. Like I said, I do apologize for the camera work. I did not even have cam. I did not even have keybinds <laughs> for my spectator screen until just uh, uh, <laughs> probably a little under 30 minutes ago. Ooh, and it's a near grab pull right there on two of the DPS uh, for Team Revenant, but they managed to pull our for. Sorry, for Team Kinetics, though, they managed to pull it out. A hook does come out, but it finds little progress. Uh, there is the successful grab pull coming in this time on Team Kinetics. Pulls Dr. June Moon of Revenant into the pit. Gems OSS with another good Dragon Blade following it up. Um, looks like that managed to secure his point as Gems is just going ham there in the back line. Uh, Sesibu now switching over to a Widowmaker, putting in some shots on what is not traditionally considered to be a very effective Widowmaker map, uh, but he's making it telling there. Um, you know, a lot of people think that you have to play Widowmaker at this sort of, uh, you know, flat a flower level where if every shot you're not getting isn't a headshot, she's useless. But the truth of the matter is Widowmaker sitting in the back line putting in uh, damage body shots even on uh, low health heroes is a pretty effective way of getting the damage in. Um, she doesn't have the consistent damage output, but her burst damage, nothing to joke about. Multiple uh, beatdown bongos out on the field right now as blue lines just crisscrossing the screen. Uh, Gems with another Dragon Blade, just raining death here, does manage to take down the Bongos, forces the two tanks away from their supports, and it's Lucio and Brigida trying to hold down the point now for Team Revenant, and they're finding very little luck uh, as Stinky McStink is brought down by Widowmaker, and Minty is driven in, uh, Minty manages to drive Artemis into a corner and bring her down as well. June Moon ulting here, pushing to a Roadhog. V and Tracer picking up a Winston. Uh, Rich Buffalo staying on the Orisa, a kind of non-functional team comp as Gems drops in for yet another Dragon Blade. Manages to find his direct counter with it. It's all over there uh, for Gems, but he does get a pretty significant pick off of that. It's definitely going to slow down this triple tank push uh, that team... 
Revenant is trying to put together. I can see why they make those switches in an attempt to contain gems because boy is he scary right now. Dizzy Whitelock coming out with a Roadhog ultimate gets very little action before Artemis slams that shield right into his schnoz, shuts down the attack. And meanwhile, a bubble is dropped on top of Arisha's shield in an attempt to hold on to the point. Uh, Artemis drops Rally mid-fight, a bit of an interesting choice, while on the other side, Charm Cloud does pop her Valkyrie in an attempt to keep her team fighting on the point with great success. Um, though it does look as if Revenant's putting together a pretty convincing push, though right now with the healing ultimates that are on the field, nobody seems to be Zying. Gems with yet another Dragon Blade. Unfortunately, he doesn't get much progress of that one before a shield to the face shuts him down. Another beatdown down goes coming out from Revenant, and then another beatdown bongo coming out from the other side, as once again, the field is just crisscrossed with blue lines. And Team Kinetics does manage to push back Team Revenant and secure this map for themselves, which means we go into our final map uh, on a 1-1 one, one divide. Uh, not... Oof. Some thrilling Overwatch here, ladies and gentlemen. Some thrilling Overwatch indeed. We see one of Jem's more brilliant Dragon Blades as he manages to find Mercy hanging over the Pit of Death and picks her off before a well-reflected deflect. Uh, it's six Dragon Blades. My lord. And I think four of them came on that last map there. A uh, pretty savage runaround uh, there by Team uh, Kinetics, showing that they are not out of this by any means after losing that first map. Whew, that's some Overwatch. Oh. <laughs> so we'll now be moving into our uh, into our third and final map, the Determiner, which for this series will be Hollywood, a good hybrid map, always fun. Um, this will take a few seconds for us to try and just transition maps. I will also try and figure out how I can get my camera into first-person perspective, <laughs> which I still haven't been able to. I will also be making any substitutions that are necessary uh, for either teams. Let me see if I can get over those settings. There we go. Anyway, we'll be back with you in about a minute to 30 seconds. All right, so while we're waiting for the uh, for the teams to settle in and tell us if they need any more substitutes, I'm just going to go into my settings really quick. Oh my god, you get a sneak peek here at all my crosshair settings. Um, my sensitivity, 100, 100, just so we all know. Uh, this is not what I want, though. I want down in here. I don't want emotes either. Uh, spectate, 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 spectate. spectate. There we go. Toggling third person camera. <laughs> oh, I knew it was somewhere. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, let's check to make sure there are no substitutes. Nope. All right. No substitutes from uh, Team Kinetics. Uh, let me just make sure that we're ready. Uh, they are ready. All right, both teams are ready. We will move into Hollywood on the final map of this series, and it has been a thrilling series so far. Uh, you are watching the Overwatch Xbox Community Week 7 matchup between Kinetics and Revenant here in the rival tier. Both teams one-to-one -one going into this final map. This will be the determiner uh, to see who comes out of this on top. Um, important for league standings, no doubt. As we go into the final map, Hollywood, a great assault escort map uh, set in Los Angeles. I can tell you uh, it doesn't look familiar to me, having been there a couple of times. That's okay. Look, there's Hollywood. You know, here's an insight, viewers. If you ever go to Los Angeles, you probably don't even want to bother to go to Hollywood for more than like an hour. It's actually not that exciting. 
it's really quite boring. There are a lot of people dressed up as movie stars, and they will try and take your money. <laughs> That's the most exciting thing I could say about it. Anyway, let's look at the teams here. Uh, for Team Kinetics, we have Minty on Lucio again, Dizzy Whitelaw on Zarya, Gems sticking with that Genji. How could he not after the success that they had on the previous map? Daniello Ford uh, playing Reinhardt. Charm Cloud will stick with Mercy, and Cecibo will be playing Widowmaker. How appropriate. Uh, French name, French character. Meanwhile, Fatty Derp will be playing the Zenyatta. Uh, for Revenant, Artemis will be playing Brigitta. Vegan Tracer will be on, still not Tracer, this time on Diva. Uh, Rich Buffalo will be playing uh, Winston. June Moon will be playing McCree, and Ermagod Burr will be playing Mercy Still. Almost a dive comp coming out of Revenant. Except for the Brigida and the McCree make it a little less divey. Those tanks are apparently very trusting of their mercy and their ability for their Zenyatta to get orbs on them. I guess they might be relying a little bit on the range of uh, <laughs> of those health packs as well. But uh, we'll see how that works out for them uh, as we lock on to someone here. Uh, we will follow Rich Buffalo on the Winston, rocking a Dallas Fuel skin. Um, rip XQC. Uh, as they begin to look for a dive target here coming around the corner. Uh, sort of a tentative scouting dive there uh, by Rich Buffalo looking for someone to go for. He does eventually try and go for Mercy on the high ground, but she's already floated away. Uh, Gems is putting a little bit of pressure on him, throwing those triple ninja stars there, trying to build up his, uh, sorry, shuriken, trying to build up his ultimate charge, but it doesn't really seem to do much. Rift Buffalo kind of just playing a very passive style right now. The entire Team Revenant not really applying the dive. Perhaps they were waiting for Artemis to get around in the back line, but it gives him very little time. Finally, Vegan Tracer and... Rich Buffalo managed to combine together to bring down the Mercy. Reinhardt trying to center the fight back on as the reses come in on both sides. And Fatty Derp is brought down by Gems in the back line. Vegan Tracer demecked and finally brought down by Minty. And it looks as though Rich Buffalo and company are going to have to back out on this one. And he will take cover behind the car. Mule Ford doing a great job on Reinhardt just creating space for his team. Trying to keep that dive back. The dive does come in on the top left corner. It's not really enough to make any significant difference, though they are pressuring that Mercy in the back line. Daniolo just trying to get damage out. Gems following up the Earth Shatter as best he can, holding on to the Dragon Blade. There it comes out. Unfortunately, there's no all um, flashbang for June Moon to, to hold it off. A uh, Genji or a Zenyatta ultimate does manage to do the worst of the hold off the worst of the damage as gems does unfortunately meet his end. Sis Boo is not far behind. And Fatty Derp here putting as much pressure as he can on Charm Cloud, just trying to bring her down. Unfortunately, in doing so, he turns his back on Reinhardt, who comes powering in with the damage. Burr in the back line, trying to keep his team alive as best as possible, as we're seeing one of the most sustained fights on the point that we've seen the entire game. Both teams just going back and forth, back and forth. Um, a Diva Bomb comes flying in. No, it's a use for a potential Weenek there, but it does look like Team Revenant at the end of that burst of action uh, is able to assert their presence on the point and will take it. This sort of half dive um, sort of working to their advantage here. That was certainly an extended fight, and all credit to the support lines on both sides for keeping their teams in that slugfest there up until the very bitter end. Looking again for a dive con target, just trying to create a little bit of space around that payload and push back. Um, we'll go straight to the high ground there. Um, looking for a kill, doesn't manage to force backing off from the team, um, which does in turn lead to the drop of both Charm Cloud and Daniello Ford right there. June Moon with a very solid high noon. That rhymed, by the way. Dr. Seuss, eat your heart out uh, as Revenant continues to push the payload forward. Fortunately, it looks as though Kinetics is struggling to kind of make a significant stand here in the streets phase where the dive comp is much more effective because it's far less limited uh, by any factors of the map. 
whether or not the dive comp can kind of be reasserted will be interesting as the shatter comes in with very little effect a very good bubble there managing to deal with the worst of it um fatty derp holding a solid back line here as the sound barrier comes in he's attempting to put in some damage uh, rez does come in on the back of the sound barrier putting daniello back into the fight um, Winston looking a little critical, a high new coming out from Cecily Blow followed by a Graviton. Uh, moving in to try and keep his team alive with a very solid ultimate is Derp. Whether or not that's going to be enough to keep him alive, however, uh, is a matter for debate as a debate that Zarya settles herself as it's mostly cleanup time here. Um, Mostly cleanup time here for Team Kinetics as they finally managed to stabilize there. Uh, though all credit to Revenant, they did get the payload quiet for before he saw the line uh, was kind of established. Again, playing a kind of strange dive comp here. Um, I don't want to call it non-traditional. Um, and they do seem to have given up on it now, going back to a more meta. Uh, Beacon Tracer on Zarya, Rich Buffalo on Reinhardt to try and power through this last part of the choke. Unfortunately, Gems has also chosen this time uh, to switch over to a Farah. The one thing will probably make their lives a living hell. Um, a high noon does come out from Sesibu, followed immediately by a, oh, a much more effective high noon from Dr. June Moon, who manages to get three with it. Uh, an amazing high noon, widely regarded as a suicide alt. Very rarely does that come off that big um, in any sort of organized play. So much credit to June Moon there for getting in the back line and for finding uh, those shots. Meanwhile, Revenant on the back of that impressive Deadeye uh, does manage to secure the last point, or the, the second to last point, I should say. Last, last, but who knows. Anyway, uh, DJ DSP Stanky has departed, uh, unfortunately. No doubt he's got an important show to play somewhere as uh, Team Revenant just pushing forward on the back of uh, some very aggressive tank play by Rich Buffalo. The tank combo doing exactly what it's supposed to here. Just space, 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 space. Uh, Valkyrie goes out just as the other support alt from Artemis goes out as well, trying to get ar as much armor as powerful possible for this last push. A sound barrier drops in, followed by an Earth Shatter, which is meant to just clear out and allow and prevents Team Kinetics from capitalizing on the grab. Uh, a return Earth Shatter, followed by June Moon again in the back, with another amazing drop of the high noon there. Um, just nothing can... Ah, just nothing gonna stop that Deadeye as Sesibo tries to make one himself. Gems desperately trying to contest with the soldier shuffle, but it is just not enough. Wow, something really has to be uh, has to be done to stop June Mood from sneaking around like that. I don't know how he's doing it. He's going full friggin' Splinter Cell at the moment. Just getting around in the back line and dropping those... Uh, dropping those uh, high noons. I've rarely have, or should I say dead eyes, I've rarely seen uh, so many effective dead eyes strung together like that. Like I said earlier, dead eye largely considered a suicide alt in the words, uh, not unlike far as rocket barrage. Um, unless you're kind of specifically pocketed, uh, you're not going to get much out of it. But um, in this context, at least, it looks as though it's been pretty effective here for, for June Moon who once again is just sort of picking up the, the DPS burden here and just pushing his team forward. <sighs> Some consternation here on Team Kinetics as they try and put in their picks for this point. Uh, looks like they've almost settled. Minty will be playing Zenyatta. Dizzy White Law will be picking up Zarya. Gems will be playing a Doomfist. Very exciting. I don't think that's a throw. or I mean, a, not a throw. I don't think that's a troll pick. I think that's serious. Um, why shouldn't it be? Doomfist can be an excellent hero, especially when it comes to bullying Reinhardt's. Daniello Forb will be playing Reinhardt. Charm Cloud will be picking up Mercy. And Sesebo will be playing McCree, sticking to his role as the premier hitscan player uh, for his team. Meanwhile, on the other side, Fatty Derp will be picking up the Zenyatta. Artemis will be sticking on uh, her Brigitte. Vegan Tracer will be sticking on Zarya. Rich Buffalo on the Reinhardt. June Moon will be unsurprisingly staying with the McCree, and Irma Gerd Burr will be picking up Mercy. And now we go into the final stage 
of Hollywood here. Kinetics needs to cap all three points in order to stay in this fight. Uh, if they don't, it's uh, game over and the match will go to Team Revenant. Ooh, Doomfist jumping in almost immediately trying to get a cheeky pick there on McCree. Unfortunately, he meets Brigida face on. Not a lot you're going to be able to do about that. He is diving to the back line trying to create as much chaos as possible. And from Brigida's screen, we can easily see just how hectic this is. As Artemis does manage to pick up Jens, but not for Sisa Ru manages to pick off June Moon, preventing any of those fearsome dead eyes. Uh, as the point is slowly getting zoned out here by... Um, Team Kinetics, unfortunately, Reinhardt dies. Charmclad already having used her res on Doomfist, not really able to res again. Um, Dizzy Whitelaw doesn't manage to pick up that Fatty Derp in the back line again, as Charmcloud just flying around trying to keep things up. Um, Rich Buffalo attempts the charge on the ulting Doomfist, is almost immediately stopped. Uh, a high noon comes in without little effect. The shield up there just preventing anything really entertaining from coming off of it. Dizzy White Law playing this deep rooted Zarya. Unfortunately, uh, that works out to the disadvantage of her, but not for her team, as it does pull uh, Rich Buffalo out of position. Um, not a lot left on the point to contest right now. Doomfist trying to come in for the cleanup and then pushing up, uh, trying to make life difficult for uh, the fleeing supports and tanks. Hey, fleeing supports and GPS if you can't. Please excuse me. All in all, a pretty convincing take there right um, by Team Kinetics. These two teams incredibly evenly matched here. Um, that is why it is a one-to-one -one matchup. Uh, it's actually been a wonderful game to watch. Both teams playing very well. Some amazing DPS plays coming in. Um, and just overall a really interesting and good game. Uh, these teams clearly have their, uh, have their stuff together. Ooh, Gems OS. Right as I say that, Gems OS goes in for a very ambitious attempt to take out a McCree. Uh, no doubt remembering all of June Moon's hideous uh, high noons. Having himself a little moment of, of PTSD there and diving into the back line to uh, limited effect. As Sasebo is pushed out by the Zarya and brought down. Fatty Derp relatively unpressured in this back line here. Just able to drop in shots and discords and harmony orbs almost at will. OS, OS trying to come in with some damage, and finally Sesebu manages to get behind and deal some damage. Uh, drops a high noon, doesn't really manage to get too much out of it. Deegan Tracer does fall, and it does kind of open the way for his team to put in a pressure, so I guess in the end I was wrong, and he did get something out of it. Um, resetting on the playload kinetics uh all credit to their dps for managing to kind of get uh in the back line there gems throwing himself into the back line as doomfist opening up the opportunity for sesebo to get behind uh, and put that high noon to his great use meanwhile reinhardt trying to charge we see a double graviton coming out as dr june moon attempts to capitalize with an, with uh, a dead eye does manage to get two kills out of it, but doesn't stop the cart from getting where it needs to be in order for them to pick up the second point and push on to the third. Hello. Hello. Team Revenant no, no doubt desperately hoping for a stall out here on this last point in order to prevent them um, from getting any farther, but they're giving up a lot of space. Doomfist once more attempted to use his ult aggressively, which is largely against conventional wisdom on that character. You usually use the ult as an escape once you've committed too deep. Um, not letting them stop that, uh, not letting that stop him though, as uh, Daniolo and Dizzy Whitelaw playing a very good aggressive tank combo. Unfortunately, no bubble for Daniolo as he gets sanctioned or se separated off there and killed. And Dizzy Whitelaw is forced into the retreat. Does look like the stall that Revenant was hoping for has finally come in as they managed to successfully shift their opponents off the cart. Dizzy playing the typical aggressive Zarya game, trying to keep that uh, that charge up, but it doesn't seem like enough to really keep the team in contention. Though both bubbles up off of cooldown right here for the final push. 93 charge, 100 charge, nothing to scoff at. 
Unfortunately, Reinhardt just getting bullied right here. Gems has finally made the switch off of the Doomfist onto a Reaper for a brawl on this final point. As Valkyrie comes out, followed by an Earth Shatter, followed by a Transcendence, all the ultimates popping off here. Um, Dizzy getting perilously close to another Graviton, but unfortunately Vegan Tracer already has her, and sure enough, it comes out. Manages to get quite a few people up in that Grav, though it's Gems once again just putting in the work here uh, for his team. Um, it, nobody can really carry an Overwatch, but Gems is doing his damnedest to uh, keep his team uh, in contention whenever possible. As he grab comes out, and there's the combo. There's no no Zenyatta ultimate to counter at that time. Oh, unfortunately, uh, June Moon on the other side trying to drop a dead eye in to try and keep the point alive, but it'll be Gems just taking care of business there as that final push rolls in, and all credit again to Gems. Just looked like the fight was going to go against his team. Gems just picked everything up, decided that he was going to play Atlas for the day, was not shrugging, and just put in the fire he needed uh, to keep his team on that point. Uh, Dizzy, of course, following up with an excellent grab, allowing him to get the most out of the spinny death blossom of doom. Uh, right there. Does anybody miss the Beyblade meta? Sometimes I miss the Beyblade meta. The <laughs> seeing the spinning top that was electric fired blue reaper just mowing everybody down. But um anyway, looks like there'll be some switches on the tank line here. Uh Dizzy White Law will be dropping off of the Zarya and onto a Roadhog and Daniello Ford, who has been playing the Reinhardt going into this will be picking up the Orisa. Uh, Gems will be staying on Reaper, no doubt, liking his previous success. Meanwhile, on the other side, Fatty will be playing Zenyatta. Artemis will be picking up a Hanzo. Vegan Tracer will be staying on Zarya. Rich Buffalo will be continuing to play my heart. Please excuse me. It's not that this game is boring by any sense of the word, because it's just very back and forth, very entertaining. It's more that I didn't get enough sleep last night. Uh, June Moon will be picking up the McCree, and Armory God Burr will be holding down that Mercy. Both teams tied 3-3 three to three here in the tiebreaker map, <laughs> as the two of them are, uh, you know, neck and neck here, looking for that win. Buffalo will be leading the assault in. On the Reinhardt. Only 60 seconds for his team to put in some sort of performance. A solid Reinhardt, though. Solid Reinhardt play as he's just pushing, 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 creating space. He finds gems with an early swing, but unfortunately, Dizzy Whitelaw has managed to pick off two in the back line. Uh, Rez does come in on June Moon, but it does force Reinhardt back out, making for a reset. Again, here he comes, pushing forward, shield up, hammer swinging. But the preponderance of force definitely on the side of Team Kinetics. He goes for the charge to try and open things up. Unfortunately, it doesn't really serve its intended purpose. Daniello Ford playing an excellent Orisa, just keeping his team solid on this point. And it looks like Revenant will not be able to pick up a tick, uh, barring some sort of miraculous assault here uh, from Vegan Tracer. Uh, oh my god, Burr popping Valkyrie. Valkyrie has been so successful for them in the past. Uh, Sayla Blue tries to finish her off with a Deadeye, does not manage to do so. Minty dropping his Transcendence shortly after Transcendence came out on the other side. Gems looking to just clear the board with a Reaper ult. Does put in a significant amount of damage, which allows him to finish it off. There is a Desperate High Noon by June Moon. Doesn't really manage to get much. And it looks as though Team Kinetics will get the full hold, finishing off there with a full team kill. <sighs> Things definitely swing Kinetics' way in that last push, and it does look as though it will be a very stressful two minutes of holding here uh, by Team Ford and company. Correct me if I'm wrong, invisible co-host, but invisible mute co-host, but I do believe that all they have to do in order to get the win here is pick up just one tick. Just one tick. 
they're not changing anything up on their comp. Um, meanwhile, on the other side, Fatty Derp will be playing Zenyatta. Artemis will be playing Brigitte. Vegan Tracer still looking to decide. Rich Buffalo will be playing Orisa. June Moon will be dropping off the McCree onto a Han Zone. Ermagad Burr will be playing Mercy. Vegan Tracer eventually settling on Roadhog. This is an interesting selection of comp composition. This would be where I would almost be tempted to tell Team Kinetics to just pack it all in. Uh, play a quad tank, Lucio Moira, crash onto that point, make them fight you there, and just uh, play for that tick. But they're sticking with the formula that has been working for them so far. I think that Gems might find that he's a little outranged here on the attack, but we'll have to see. Ah, as the assault comes out of the back line. Wasting no time here and getting super aggressive. Uh, Daniello just pushing, 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 pushing. Um, Brigida and Orisa dancing around another ch one another to try and keep this space in front of the payload. Um, is going to force them into an attack route coming in the back. Daniello forward again, just playing as aggressive as possible. He's got almost constant healing on him from Charge Cloud. Tries to take the charge in, doesn't really get a lot of... Pressure offers it. June Moon puts down two right there with a good use of Stormbow. Um, Daniel Ford trying to swing his hammer for the fences. Manages to pick June Moon on a pin of all people, but he doesn't finish it off. There's no terrain for him to crash into, but June Moon is sectioned off, and it's enough to drop perhaps the more most valuable DPS on Team Revenant out of the fight. No doubt we'll be trying to rush back, but they're giving him no time. Just getting as aggressive as possible. Daniel Forge stunned. Dizzy Whitelaw manages to pick off uh, Rich Buffalo, but Fatty Derp doesn't manage to get Cebu in there. Um, and it's just a solid back and forth as the sound barrier comes in. Cebu is raised off of a res. Oh my god, Burr is almost solar shattered. Jude Moon once more just trying to put in the work here. Uh, trying to keep his team in it, but it's just not enough. And at the end of an amazing series of Overwatch, very engaging and exciting gameplay, close, close until the bitter end, it is Team Kinetics that emerges on top. But who else can get play of the game here but June Moon, delivering some of the best dead eyes I have ever seen in the history of dead eyeing. Um, and it, <laughs> they just get a beautiful pick on the soldier there as well. A close fight game. Both teams did wonderful. Um, uh, you know, it's sometimes it's games like this that make it sad that sometimes everybody can't win. Uh, but I guess it wouldn't be much of a competitive uh, <laughs> competitive eSport if everybody could win. <sighs> so that'll bring our match here to an end for the day. You have been watching the Overwatch Xbox Community Week 7 matchup between Team Kinetics and Team Revenant. In the rival tier, Kinetics emerging on top in a 2-1 to one victory um, that was nothing short of dramatic. It had thrills, it had chills, it had spills, it had it all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. Uh, I don't believe there's any more matches this evening. Uh, there was one, I believe, going on right now on the main Discord of Overwatch uh, Xbox community, if you'd like to go check that out. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in, thank you for supporting the community, and have a wonderful day.